Oh, so this is the Seagull SC198. So this camera is actually quite popular in China because there's a lot of um, old, new old stock for the Seagull um, SC198 in the market right now. So you can actually see it from the website or anything. And it actually, it's actually quite pretty and it comes with a lot of move. The lens itself is 29mm f4.5. Okay, so there's two buttons right here, three buttons, sorry. There's a shutter, the mood, and also the on-off button. And this is the panorama mode settings. And yep, so basically that's it. So right now we're just going to have a look on how the camera works and everything. Okay, so first thing first, you turn it on, check the shutter. Okay, shutter still working as well. And then next thing we're going to do is insert a roll of film. Make sure that it's parallel to the camera itself, close the cap. And when you shoot right, you can see that the film counter it goes up as well. Okay, so this when it shows number one means that the film is still the properly already. And then you can just shoot. Okay. So you can play with the modes right here. This one is a self-timer with the flash auto. So I'm just gonna press it first. Wait for it. So the stuff time is still working as well. This one is the macro mode. Oh wow, I didn't know that you can shoot macro with this camera. And this is the portrait mode. This one is the auto flash. So yeah, this is the auto flash. We're now facing off of the light box. And close the flash. You can see that if the flash will be triggered. Huh? Alright. Bless you. Okay. And yep, basically that's all the function for the camera. And right now we're just going to do a force rewind for this camera. Oh yeah, there's a panorama mode right here. If it shows P means you are shooting in a panorama mode. If you shoot like this, it means you are in a normal mode. Okay. So we're just going to have a look at the viewfinder as well. So this is what I'm going to see from the viewfinder. You can see that there's two straight straight line right there. That's for the panorama. So you have to frame your stuff inside of the panorama of the of the line there to use the panorama. All right. So after you should finish already, eventually you will start to rewind by itself, lah. But right now I'm just going to do a false rewind on this camera. Wait, where is the false rewind? Oh, there's no force shooting for this camera. Interesting. So we're just going to shoot. Oh, um, should I have to finish now? Okay. Since I cannot find the force shooting button right here, so I'm just going to shoot until finish. Okay. And it will start to run by itself like eventually. See, it starts to rewind by itself like eventually. Afterwards, you can just go ahead and take the film out. 
So yeah, basically that's it for the camera and I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you.